My name is Austin Eddy. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm an artist. I mean, it was like a, a culmination of lots of little moments that sort of made me want to become an artist. It was like uh, early on, it was an interest in drawing and then going to high school and then there, like teachers opening my eyes to like art could be more than just painting still lives or whatever and sort of like working in an expanded field. And then I guess college is where it sort of was like, oh yeah, I guess you can be an artist somewhat sustainably. You just have to figure that part out. Some of the references I'm making in my work are predominantly folk art related. And I've been looking at a lot of like G's Ben's quilts and Pennsylvania Dutch folk art, sort of relating to the Ellie and Louise Nottleman collection. Initially it was always sort of very clearly paintings of scenes or things. Things became more simplified and sort of more broken into sh shapes and colors and more about the painting itself as opposed to the narrative. I generally like to think of the practice as pretty green. Paint tops become eyeballs on sculptures or the paper torn off from making things smaller becomes the ground for other paintings. And I tend to like the matte and gloss gel mediums the most because they seem the most versatile. Like you can thin them down and they can be like a matte varnish or a gloss varnish and also an adhesive and also they help build texture in a different way than like the modeling paste does. I use the mediums as an adhesive predominantly when collaging. So like um, the paper will be glued with like a matte medium and the matte medium sort of provides a sealant or sort of like an archival ground that you can then oil paint on top of. I mean, you can buy very expensive glues that work in a similar way, but the matte medium, I think, works the best. Working with Liquitex has been great. Like, uh, there's so many like different types of materials to use and it's been like rather eye-opening and sort of like the spray paint and the mediums and like the pigment qualities and paints and all that stuff has been very nice. The best piece of advice I've been given, which is also the most frustrating piece of advice, is to the idea of just keep working. Because essentially it doesn't really point you in any direction and it sort of forces you to figure out what it means and figure out your own path in the whole situation. And I guess that's the one piece of advice I'd pass along too.